The technique is successful but not widely used because of its high cost. The free draining soils of the Yamanashi region, many of which are of volcanic origin, ensure that the berries themselves don't swell too much, preventing the wines produced from being diluted. And this is important because Koshu wine is known for its delicacy. They have an average alcohol content of approximately 11%, rarely going beyond 12%, and are never overwhelming in flavor and provide a subtle novelty. Koshu wines are known for their complex aromas and flavors, which can range from citrus Japanese yuzu to yellow fruit. If you want to make comparisons to popular European whites, you can say that Koshu wines taste like a cross between Muscadet and Albarino because of the relatively extended lease contact that Japanese typically give Koshu. Koshu also has a little salty note, as if someone had dropped a drop of soy into the glass, making it stand out from the crowd. The Koshu grape has been compared to wide European varieties throughout the years. The Melon de Bourgogne used in Muscadet, the Semillon grape especially when it comes from Australia's Hunter Valley, and the Albarino grape, native to Galicia in northern Spain, are the most often used variety. In particular, these grapes often come from damp coastal areas. Koshu can also be light and dry like Chenin Blanc from the Loire or South Africa or Pinot Blanc from Alsace. In any case, Koshu makes wine in a number of distinct types, so it can cater to a wide variety of palettes and welcomes experimentation. Some of this variety comes from specific sites where certain aspects and soils, especially those that drain well, make wines that are very strong and unique. One of these is the Misawa Vineyard in Akino, where the well-known Koshu producer Grace takes advantage of the high altitude and, in an unusual move, trains the vines to grow in a vertical position to make a very intense, peachy Koshu. Another, the Isehara Vineyard from the brilliant Koshu producer Katsunama, yields a sought-after example bursting with pink grapefruit, not unlike a top-end Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire. However, the most noticeable differences in the Koshu wine style are often the result of cellar practices. Just as the delicate Melon de Bourgogne grape is used in Muscadet, the light-bodied wine can certainly benefit from long contact with its lees, which adds a bready depth and more structure to the wine. This delicate type can be fermented and aged in barrels, even with some young oak, and produce surprisingly good results, like how ripe Sauvignon Blanc pairs well with sweet wood in Bordeaux. The peanut character imparted by high-quality barrique appears to suit the lemon and peach flavors of Koshu. While Grande Polar makes a fine bottle, but the ultimate barrel influence Koshu comes from Katsunama Winery called Aruga Branca Pipa. They freeze the grapes to concentrate the peach and grapefruit notes in their top koshus, which works well with the oak-sourced flavors. But different kinds of koshu aren't just made by isolating certain plots or experimenting with lees and oak in the cellar. Some of the best wines are made when the skins stay in contact with the juice for a long time. Koshu makes some of the best orange wines, which range in color from light amber to cloudy egg yolk colored wines. The desire for low intervention wines is high in Japan, and these wines are meeting that need with their soft grit and frequently smoky aromas, more so than organic or biodynamic certified products. Mercian and Lumiere make particularly good skin contact Koshus. A further interesting and refreshing use for Koshu is in the creation of sparkling wines. Lumiere uses the grape to create a delicious traditional style of fizz, and the lingering mousse complements the tangy citrus notes of Koshu perfectly. In short, the makers of Koshu have experimented with about every aspect of the winemaking process imaginable.